Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video we look at how to get started with Xamarin Android splash screen or an Android startup screen using the Visual Studio 2019. But before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So let's get to it then. So what is really a Xamarin Android? So Xamarin Android exposes the complete Android SDK for .NET developers to build a fully native Android applications. So what is really a splash screen or a startup screen? So an Android splash screen is implemented as an activity that displays your branded drawable on initialization while the, back, while the background task is being completed, right? So enough of all of this, let's get into the code properly. So as you can see, I've got Visual Studio 2019 opened. We get started by creating a new project. So as you can see, I've actually selected C Sharp on the language side, Android on the platform side, and then you can leave it as our projects here. So we're going to select an Android app this is a project template for creating an Android phone and tablet applications with Xamarin. So we click on the next. So here, obviously we can configure the application details, but we're not going to look too much into that. So we're just gonna click on the create. So as you can see here now, I've actually got, um, a couple of templates that we can use we've got some with a startup as samples but we're going to choose the, the blank application and we're going to leave the minimum android version as 5.0 as it is right so we click on the okay so as you can see here now we've got the project created now so it's just a it's a blank project so we, we if we look inside the resources here we've got the drawable folder the layout folder and um, and whatnot so yeah so what we do is first is actually um come inside the colors the the, the values folder and then we'll click on the colors.xml so this is what we're going to do we're going to add one color to it yeah so it's a color and the name the name we're gonna call it splash underscore background yeah so we're going to give it this value so it's a it's a white so we're just gonna put six f's yeah yeah, so this is all we're going to leave for here now. And the next bit, of course, is we come inside the drawable folder. Yeah, we right click it and then we add a new item. So here we select the Android bit here. Or we can just leave it as all the calls. We scroll down and we add XML file. Yeah, so here, this XML file, this is what we're going to call it. going to call it splash underscore screen and then what we do next is um, obviously we're going to put the image that we will use for the for the drawable we're going to paste it here so we right click on the drawable and then whatever image that you want i'm just gonna pause and grab the image yeah so this is what i'm gonna i'm gonna paste so it's splash underscore logo dot ping so this is the image i'm going to use so we come inside the 
um, the XML. So this is what we do. We are going to add this layer list. So inside here, XML, XMLNS colon Android. So we, I'm going, to, I'm going to copy and paste the, the the link. Obviously, you're going to put the Android schema. So, I mean, there's something. One second. Okay, so you can just look at this here and make sure you type exactly the same. Yeah. So inside here, what I'm gonna do is just gonna copy and paste so that we can move faster so this is what we're going to put inside here so first we're going to put an item color and we're going to reference at the color splash underscore the underground the one i put here this is what we're going to reference and the next bit of course is this is what we're actually going to put um, So this is what we're going to put here. So we're going to actually reference the drawable splash underscore logo for the image here. And then we're going to actually disable the tie mode and we set the gravity to center. So this, we're going to put that in a bitmap. So it starts and ends from here. So you got to type the, exactly the same inside as splash underscore screen dot XML. Yeah. So that's what we need for this bit here. So the next bit is we come inside the values and we open the, the styles. Yeah, so this is what we're actually going to put. Yes. So first of all, we're going to we're going to leave this bit as it is here, but we will we add another style. So it's a style keyword. So the name of the style, we're just gonna call it my, my theme dot splash. Yeah, so we add the parent. The parent will be theme dot app compact. dot light dot no action bar so that's what we use so inside here this is what we actually going to put so I'm just gonna copy and paste it here so you just look at it and actually type exactly the same so this is what we actually going to pull so so we're going to put background so we're actually going to reference the the drawable the splash underscore xml the one we've just worked on right and we're just going to put this um this attributes as well so we actually save this bit here then we come inside the activity the main activity so on inside the main activity this is what we're going to do we're going to remove the main launcher remove the main launcher and then we come inside the project folder the app to right click it and we add a new item yeah so the new item this will be an activity so we just remove the activity one and we make it splash activity splash activity yeah so here we have the splash activity so we set uh, the main, we make the main launcher here. We set that to true here. And then we set the theme. So this will be at style forward slash 
the label that we gave it same dot splash that's the name that we gave it if we look back here on the style this is what we actually need the theme dot splash yeah so that's what we actually put here and we actually going to set one more thing we set the no history to true and that's all we're gonna need for that part yeah and then on the activity side we actually add this override so it's a protected override so this will be on resume yeah so on this on this override here yeah, we're just gonna make a protected async void right so we're going to create a new method so we're going to await a new method that we're going to create so we're going to simulate we're going to simulate a, like a background action so we're going to like simulate a startup so now we can create this method so we've actually generated this method so this is what we're actually going to do inside this method we're going to await task so we reference the, the task as system okay I'm just gonna finish this bit dot delay so here we can put a time span dot from seconds so we actually delay the startup for like um let's say eight seconds okay so here the reason for this error is we're gonna have to put an async here right so we make this method an async task here yeah, and the error will go away so the next bit is of course we're going to say start activity we're going to start the main activity so we can say it's a new intent So the new intent, this will be on this application contest. And then we, we grab the main launcher. I mean the main activity. So that's all we need for this, this video. So as you can see here now, it's very simple. So we make this capital I yeah so it's very simple so all we do is we're just going to run it to see what actually comes out of it so we click on the f5 or run so i'm just going to pause it while the whole thing runs so it's a fail the build was failed so we're just going to wait and see what actually happened so as you can see here now it's, it's actually uh it's built and waiting for the emulator to start So as we can see here now it's actually running so as you can see here now we've got the uh, the splash screen or startup screen being shown so it will actually be displayed for eight seconds or so and then it will be transitioned into the the main the main activity right so as you can see the main activity just appeared so this is how you actually do a startup page right so i mean i'm just gonna leave the video here and hopefully you subscribe to the channel if you haven't so once again have a lovely morning evening afternoon wherever you are blessed and catch up on the next video bye bye